Hey everyone, this is Bikas from Small Academy and welcome to another tutorial series on Android app development. I really want to apologize to you guys that I have been inactive for so long time. It's already been four months I think that I have uploaded my last video and I really want to say sorry because due to all these situation that that has been going on, uh, I kind of got stuck in between and I was not able to make any videos. I want to say sorry and I hope from now on I'll be able to make videos on regular basis and uh, share those with you guys and I hope that you're going to be with me on this journey. Let's go ahead and talk about the thing that we're going to build today. So I want to go ahead and talk about two things today. One is the free API and what is free API, how we can uh, acquire this free API from the web and how we can use this to make Android application. And another thing that we're going to talk about is what kind of application that I'm going to build in this series just to show you guys the demo of using the free API and how you can benefit from these free APIs that is available in the internet. So let's go ahead and talk about the free API. So basically the free API is available for free and you can use it for free in your application. And these APIs could be like free news APIs, image APIs and so on. So let's go ahead and see what kind of application that we're going to build using the free API. And if you are wondering how you can find the free API, all you have to do is go and search free APIs in the internet, in the in your browser. And from here, you can find lots of website that list out the free APIs and in particular, I like to use this API list dot fun. So if you click on this application, uh, this website, it will give you the lots of free APIs that are available and you can use in your application. Like you here, you can see OMDB. This is open movie database API. Using this, you can make the application where if user types some kind of movie name, it's going to display all the details. Like uh, it's like the database of movie. So it will display the movie rating, uh, cards, cast info, and the plot of the movies and so on. And you can think about that kind of application if you want to build and you can utilize this kind of application. Similarly, we have this YouTube API, we have other pizza API. If you are in the US or in the European country, you can use this kind of API to send the uh, pizza order from your Android application. We also have so many others categories here you can explore by it yourself go to this api list phone and explore yourself okay we also have this pdf section and here you can see lots of free apis that are available and here you can see html to pdf app so this html to pdf as it says it is converting the html to pdf it is online generator so you can use this api as well so if you want to use this all you have to do is click on this and go to the API docs and from here you can get the free API key and use it in your application. Maybe uh, I'll make another app tutorial series on this HTML to PDF application but right now what we're going to do is we're going to use this free image API, the cat API, okay. So the cat API generates the random cat app image from the database so whenever you load this cat api in your browser like this it will generate it will uh, retrieve one cat image and it will uh, give you the information about that particular cat so here you can see if i click on this url here it's going to display the cat image so this is the cat image and the information about this cat image is displayed here in this breed section and as you can see this is json so we can easily extract this in our application and display this information in our uh, android application so i hope you got the idea so now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the demo of this application and what i have built and what we're going to build in this series so this is the initial application it is a really simple application it's only going to utilize the api that we have and you can see we have this image view and here we are loading the image of this particular cat and if I click on this uh, refresh button here, it's going to load another application, another cat image and so on. Right now, I have also implemented this download button. So if I click on this download button, it's going to open this image in browser. And from there, you can save this image. Okay. 
and similarly we will also implement this i button right now i have not implemented in my the, in this particular application but as we go on implementing uh, as we go on building this application we'll go ahead and design that as well so if somebody wants to have the information about this particular cat he can just click on this i button here and it will just display the information that we already have here and in case if the information is not available then this breed section is going to be empty and we will just display some message saying that the information about this particular cat is not available so guys i hope uh, you are going to learn something new from this tutorial series and if you get any questions and if you want this source code and so on i will be listing all the links in the description and you can contact me in the facebook you can contact me in the github and so on and I will see you in the next video where we will start making this particular application.